welcome back to the Yellow Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on Brock and uh, got a few encounters. So in this episode, we are going to make our way through the tunnel here, all the way to Cerulean City. And if you guys are enjoying the content thus far, please go ahead and smash that like button, as well as subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And without any further ado, let's get going. All right. We get an encounter in here, and it is going to be a... Well, we got a TM. No encounter yet, though. Come on. All right, what's our encounter? It is a Zubat. All right, to be honest, I kind of expected that. Zubat's not terrible, but I probably would have preferred something else here. All right. Go Big Mouth! Why am I dumb? Why am I dumb? Okay, so no encounter in here. Right, let's check and see what TM12 is. Water gun. Water gun TM? What? Water gunning Rattata. That's super interesting. And I would be tempted if Radigan didn't have terrible special and TMs weren't single use. And another Zubat. So we didn't miss out too badly. All right, how terrible is confusion in this game? I cannot remember. And it's not looking good so far. Oh, if the Zubat we had encountered were one level higher, we wouldn't have killed it. That's so frustrating. And do you have a Clefairy? Yes, you do. All right, my memory's not as bad as I thought it was, but this is gonna be some good experience for our pal Magikarp here. We are going to leave it up to Perry. We're straight for the poison powder. And it didn't affect enemy Clefairy? It didn't affect, not it doesn't affect. All right. Nope, didn't affect. I'll try one more time. And it didn't affect. Okay, so now apparently that means it does not affect. Good to know now. Let's harden up. That's what she said! <laughs> oh, not sing. And we get the wake. Perfect. Oh god, okay, so let's go ahead and heal up. This is very frustrating. And confusion, see how much this actually does. Oh goodness, not much at all. Okay, it's gonna take a minute. What in the world? How is it hitting every single scene? Third in a row now. All right, and one more confusion should do it here. And the Clefairy goes down. Oh, there are sand true in here? That's so unfortunate. Level 12 sand true. That would have been so nice. No, not sand attack. And we hit the poison powder, that's going to be helpful. Especially if we can't hit it with any moves. Now we have to be super careful in this game, so if we do get poisoned, we have to remember, or I have to remember, that poison will kill me just walking. So that's slightly terrifying. I haven't had to deal with that in over a decade. And Sentry goes down. Which is good. Because we have to save all of our health and our last potion for every single trainer in this cave. Suspicious men are in the cave! 
What about you? What about me? Am I suspicious? No, but your voice is... Crit. Oh, not quite a one-shot. And Chickadee the Bug Killer. Kakuna. Alright, so we're just gonna do a little bit of a switcheroo right here just to make sure we give Big Mouth as Big Mouth as much experience as he can get. Harden, harden, harden. Whatever. Heck. I will sit here all day. It does not matter to me because you won't attack. You're just experience, buddy. Lovely, tasty experience. Alright, so if you guys have noticed, I'm trying to talk a little bit more slowly just to make the editing process a bit easier. Ooh! An item. A potion. Oh, thank you. Starting to get a little worried there. Used way too many potions on that Clefairy. Uh, okay. Before we go down there, let's explore a little bit down here. I'm pretty sure there's a rare candy down here if memory serves. And another Zubat. Pikachu! That's right. I didn't forget about it. And eight. We're almost halfway to a Gyarados. Alright. Oh. God. Um, um, um. Slowpoke? Or Magnemite? Mag- Oh. Okay, that's slightly scary. So at least Magnemite is not Steel-type in this game. That means we can actually inflict some damage. Oh my. Okay. You're gonna have to stop that. One more should do it. Magnemite goes down. I tell you what, in future generations, having a Magnemite, especially early game, is broken. Voltorb is nothing but speed, so... Actually, in this game, that's probably pretty scary. Hyper Fang! All right, let's go, Radigan. Is this our rare candy? It is! Wonderful. I'm gonna try my best not to use that on the Magikarp and save it for later in the game. Another potion, love to see it. Right, and I'm pretty sure I go around, but I... Is there anything down here? I feel like there must be, right? Ah! Team Rocket. Alright. Let's get it started. What you got, Rocket? Sand True. Alright, lovely. Good thing I just healed. Alright, so we're gonna go straight out into... Ah, uh, yeah, let's go Perry. He's probably going to harden at least once. And Sand Attack High, you fool. Goodbye. Rattata, not worth switching for. Parry to 15. And do we get sleep powder? We do. Thank you. Absolutely we're taking sleep powder. And Harden can go away. Three hundred thirty big ones. HP up, alright. Now I have no idea if there are any hidden items in here. Uh, I'll probably go and check that later just to kind of give myself a little bit of a refresher so I don't miss anything super cool. I don't know that there are any super cool hidden items in this game, but it would be nice to know. Alright. 
Another last. It's not a rocket, but we will take it. Oddish. Oh, I love that Oddish sprite. It's so nice. It's a lot less creepy than the original first gen Oddish sprite. If anybody can remember that one. We're going to go chickadee. Just peck away. Dead. And Bell Sprout. Aw. Okay, I, I think I like Bell Sprout more than I like Oddish. Yeah, Bell Sprout definitely wins. But if they're both in this game, that would be really cool. Anything down here? Ah, yes, we have an item up here. TM01, which is Mega Punch. All right, we don't really have any physical attackers at the moment except for Redata, and I have no idea what I just said except for R Radata, Ratata, Radata. Still unsure of how to say that properly, but he has Hyper Fang, so. We will hold off for now. Really nice to have though. And come on, Rocket. That rock there looks pretty suspicious. I'll check it after this battle. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. All right, let's get this fish some experience. That's Thunder Wave, and then we'll switch back out into Big Mouth. Aw, oh, he wraps me? Come on. That's so frustrating. It means at least we're going to have to use a potion. And I'm not happy about it. Oh no! Wait, did I just make a terrible mistake and he's gonna wrap me? Oh my god. Okay, well, at least it doesn't do a ton of damage. Can you switch out in the middle of a rat? You can? Oh, that seems... cheap. I almost wish I hadn't checked it. It was a lot more fun thinking that could kill me. And confusion takes you down. All right. Aha! See? Something... Something just told me something wonderful was here. Alright, we're gonna go back and heal. I'll see you guys shortly. Hey! Did you come to explore too? Alright, whose will prevail? Obviously mine. Oh, let's try the new move, Hyper Fang. Bam. Easy. And Hyper Fang. Bam. No chance. How dare I complain about Rattata? It just one-shots absolutely everything at this level. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Alright. Money, 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 money! Oh no, we have the flashing red light. We gotta hurry up. I don't wanna fight this guy. Rock types are a problem for my team right now. Thankfully, their special defense is pretty bad. Well, I guess it's just special in general in this game, isn't it? Mm. Why did I tackle? Ugh. I was 
stressed. The red light is making me anxious. Onyx. Let's put you to sleep. Immediately? What the fuck is that? Back to sleep. Alright, two shot. Alright. Onyx is so bad. And that is so unfortunate. I really like Onyx. He should be an absolute powerhouse too, if you ask me. Just say. Yes, let's give the 28 foot Rock Snake the worst attack stat in the game. Makes a lot of sense. Grab this item. Moonstone. Hopefully that'll come in handy later on. And we're gonna save just to be safe here. You know the really unfortunate thing is... Actually, I want to try something. Do electric moves actually affect rock types in this generation? I can't remember. They do not. Okay. Good to know. I thought I remembered them having an effect, but I suppose not. Uh, let's just... Uh, let's just run away, actually. Not interested. The unfortunate thing, as I was saying, is that even if we do manage to catch, like, a Geodude later on, or an Abra, or anything else that evolves via trade, we're not going to be able to get it, because I have no one to trade with, sadly. And I don't have the link cable that I would need to do so. Thirteen, this will give us some experience. Love to see it. Hyperfang almost one shots. Oh, okay. We're gonna just quick attack and be safe here. Goodbye. Not as much as experience as I would have wanted. Uh, so we have to switch now. Bit unfortunate, but it's the way it goes sometimes. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Don't do it. Damn it. Alright, so confusion is apparently 100% so far. That is super unfortunate. Means we have to waste time and potions. We do not like to do that. This game did actually make some things more difficult for the player. It doesn't tell you when you snap out of confusion. You don't actually attack when you wake up from sleep. Props. What happened? There's something so pleasing about these graphics. Huh, I thought I remembered there being a uh, rocket there for us to fight, but I guess not. This seems suspicious. Hey, another moonstone. I'm just gonna follow my instincts. All right, and the fossil maniac. Yes, fossil maniac. Hey, I found these fossils! They're both mine! We'll see about that. Grimer. Ooh, okay. So, I absolutely love Grimer and I'm super jealous. Uh... Perry should make quick work of you. like that though, so we're gonna potion up just to be safe. Oh, Grimer lives. Grimer's so bulky. I love Grimer so much. I love Muck so much. Grimer is fine. Now the banned Japanese Grimer card. Love that.
Ooh, Voltorb kind of bulky. That's surprising. See, crit. Mm. But he's not faster than us. That's surprising. All right, let's just add insult to injury. The tackle. Tackle kill with a Butterfree. Love to see it. All right, so I'm gonna go into Big Mouth. Now, I don't know if you guys agree, but Perry is team MVP so far. He just is. Look at that. And again, tackle. Smash. Big mouth to 12. And I'll be taking one of those fossils now. Alright guys, so I know most people probably want to go for the Helix Fossil. I'm actually not one of those. I'm going Kabuto all day. Give me the Dome Fossil. Now Kabutops is rather frail, but he's just so awesome. He's a rock with scythes. Paris? You know, part of me actually wants to count this as a different encounter table, which would mean we get another catchable encounter. But I'm not going to do that, so we're just going to take out this Paris. One shot. Okay, maybe I didn't want that Paris anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on. What? Oh! Whoa. Is... Is this Jesse and James? Hold on. It is! Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. And they actually have the Ekans and Coughing too. I am so glad we played this vanilla. I would have been so upset if it had been them and they had just a random team. That would have been strange. Oh, this is kind of scary though. Hold on. Okay, Poison Sting. Oh my god! Super effective! What? What do you mean? Uh... Okay, we're just gonna use the last potion here. Oh god. Actual smart AI? I don't like that. I do not like that. We're gonna try one sleep powder and if it doesn't work, we're out of here. Woo! Okay. Told you I had pretty good luck with the powders. Goodbye, Ekans. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, Meowth is actually kind of strong. That's a bit scary. What? Hold on now. Hold on now! Oh boy. Okay. Uh. Oh, this is actually bad. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Um. Alright. Come on. Let's try Chickadee. We are not losing Pikachu this early on. I'm gonna growl you. Just lower that attack. Don't like you, sir. Don't like you. Oh, and our first death comes at the hands of Team Rocket. Hmm. All right. So, uh, Radigan. Just because I don't mind losing you if I absolutely have to. I hope I don't have to. But all right. And we may have to sack off Radigan here too. Not fun. He misses! That's huge! Coughing goes down. Radigan, you monster. You love to see it. Fuck out of here, Jesse and James. 
420. Love it. Blast off at the speed of light. Yes, indeed. Goodbye. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Okay. So, that is gonna be it for us today, guys. I know we said we were gonna make it all the way into Cerulean City, but I am happy just getting through the cave. Uh, we barely got through, and sadly, we did lose our first team member, R.I.P. Chickadee. But you served us well. In the next episode, we will have another encounter. Hopefully it's a decent one this time, and we will make our way into Cerulean City, where we have the Nugget Bridge and our first real rival battle, along with the Cerulean City Gym. Alright guys, until next time, take it easy.